Uh, well, obviously, uh, when you see a large, you know, uh, record-breaking transaction like that uh, and suspended, um, you know, you have very strong mixed feelings. You know, I have very strong mixed feelings. You know, on the one hand, you very much are disappointed and that you see that sort of transaction get postponed and uh, suspended at the last minute. But on the other hand, I'm also quite relieved in the sense that um, if those sets of new regulations are going to come out and become defining regulatory changes into the landscape, then it's much better for those regulations to come out and for people to have a much better and a comprehensive understanding of them and truly understand the impact that they would have on the industry. And then we will then go back and, uh, and potentially consider the transaction again rather than rushing it into it with all the uncertainties and with potential market uh, turbulences to follow. So from that perspective, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm relieved that uh, we don't have to have this two coming together and we should let uh, the regulatory uh, situation settle down and clarity to emerge. And then we can go at it, at it again. Ant Group had mentioned that they were going to maintain communication with the Hong Kong Stock Exchange as well as the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Uh, has that happened and do you expect them to come back to market soon? You know, I can't speak for the company and I shouldn't be commenting on specific communications that uh, are either, uh, you, know, uh, you know, we're maintaining a strong dialogue on very important uh, on transactions like this. And uh, I have no doubt in my mind that uh, you know, a, a very big company like that will eventually return to the market.